Hello and welcome to this YouTube video. In this video, we're going to talk about the difference between supervised learning and unsupervised learning. So, without wasting our time, let's get into it and start exploring these topics. So, first of all, let's talk about the supervised learning. So, let's take an example to explain about the supervised learning. So, here is an example of that. Suppose we have we have given some amount of data set about the size of the houses on real estate market and we have to predict the price of the house. It means that we have to input the size of the house and it will the predict the price of the house. And we can think of it as there is a, some relationship between the input and the output. And we know what our output should look like. It means that, that there is a, some relationship between the size of the house and the price of the house that we can think of it as a house and house means we have to input the x which is the size and we are going to get y which is the price of the house and we know what our output should look like it means that that we have to give some amount of x here which is the size of the house and we are going to get the price of the house and the price of the house will be in continuous value so we can think of it as as y will come in continuous value so it's a regression problem which is the supervised learning problems okay so this 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 was the example of regression problem now let's take a look at another example so here is the example let's say let's take that we are given pictures of cats or a dogs and we have to classify them as a cat or non-cat not down that in example number one and example number two we know what our output should look like it means that in example number one we have to input the size of the house and we are going to get the price of the house and in case of this example we have to input the pictures and we are going to get the and it will classify them as a cat or a non-cat and there's some kind of relationship between the input and the output in this example also as the, the y value in this example will come in decreed value so we can say that as y will come in decreed value so it's a classification problem in previous example there there's a regression problem in this example it is a classification problem okay so we can conclude that supervised learning we are given a data set and already familiar with what our output should look like and we have some idea that there is a, some relationship between the input x and the output y and we can classify the supervised learning problems or categorize the supervised learning problems into regression and classification so for identifying the regression we have to say what our output should look like it means the y should be in continuous in case of classification y should be in degree value the difference between continuous and decreed value will, will be taught in the mathematics for machine learning videos in the section number two okay so be sure to check check it out which will be uploaded in future now let's do to be talk about the unsupervised learning so i have listed now one example about market segmentation and and there is some t-shirts and we have to classify them m l and xl what we have to do we have to cluster them out and identify the patterns so for clustering we have to cluster this and then that side and then downside and we have clustered them out we don't know what our output should look like and we don't know and and there's not any kind of relationship between the input and the output so i have written down two notes here we should to see that we don't know what our output should look like this is the main important case and we have to cluster them out and identify the patterns so these are the two notes that, that you have to take from this example and what and it is and we can think of it as it is a clustering problem so we can conclude that unsupervised learning enables us to process problems with little or no idea what our output or why should look like and we have to derive the structure by clustering them out as unsupervised learning problem problem can be classified as a clustering okay so I have, for example, market segmentation, image recognition, speech recognition, and etc. Note down, in supervised learning, most of the data that we get are structured data, and in unsupervised learning, most of the data we get are unstructured data. In case you are not familiar with the structured and unstructured data, there is a link in the description below of the previous video. Be sure to check, check it out the notes of the pre previous video where you will get to know about the structured and unstructured data. 
So I think that you've got a better intuition about supervised learning and unsupervised learning and got a, and you can answer any kind of question related to that. The notes of the lecture or this video will be in the description below. Be sure to check it out or download it from there. And I and I hope that you that you've got a good knowledge from this video. And so I have to end this video. So thank you for this thing, this video. Meet you in the next video. See you. Have a great day. Bye bye.